about what is going on that I cannot get to and that what up guys it's your home girl Kelly T where and I am back with another video I have not had time to build up on my channel so I have decided to step in and just talk a little bit about what is going on that I cannot get to and that is the Kardashians being on trial with Black China. That is the big topic that is going on in the T world. And your girl is not able to do vlogs about it. Not like Tisa Tales and a couple of other vloggers out there that are covering the story. If you've been keeping up, with the trial and you've been hearing media stories from television, TMZ, Page Six, E! News, any of those media conglomerates, the Kardashians are right there in the middle of their palm. If you really want to know what's going on in the tea world and what's really going on in the you might want to go check out a blog site like Teeth Still, where they actually got people inside the courtroom giving real feedback and not that brushed over, I don't want to mess up my relationship with the Kardashian type of news. You know what I'm saying? So. If you really want to know what's going on, I would say go check it out. Um, the situation has made me question why did I ever like them in the first place? Um, there has been a lot of things that have come out um, on top of watching um, her and Kanye fall out publicly. This is something I don't think that the Kardashians should have allowed to go to court, especially based on what they are doing to Black China. And essentially, in a nutshell, what is happening is they have basically said, what is good for us is not good for little you, little you. I don't even know if I should say What's, what's good for us is not good for little old China, is what they're essentially saying. And it's sad because you can see right through it, you know, and they're trying to throw all these character things at her. And it's like the pot calling the kettle black. Black China has not done nothing more salacious than the Kardashians by far. And if people want to judge her based on the fact that she chose to be a stripper at one time in her life, how shallow is that when you compare the fact that Kim Kardashian has made her entire family rich based on a tape where she was being intimate? But that's okay for her. It's not okay for Black China based on her life choices, but yet the Kardashians have made plenty of life choices that we have just gone ahead and said, okay, you guys have learned how to profit off of, you guys have learned how to profit well off of lemons, and it's not okay for her to do it. So in this situation, it's people calling each other toxic, that are toxic. <laughs> And ultimately, at the end of the day, just because you're somebody rich with influence, is it okay to use your influence to get people out of work? Is that okay? So, regardless if you like Black China or not, is it okay for somebody to do that to you in your life? Regardless of what a person feels about you per se, is that okay? Everybody has to have boundaries. I don't care how much money and influence you have. We all need to have boundaries. And the Kardashians, they don't have any boundaries when it comes to other people. They see themselves as people up here 
and everybody else is down here. And that is clear in that case. So if you've been watching the regular media and you've been siding with the Kardashians, you might want to give yourself a balanced view, you know, because the media is in favor of the Kardashians. The general media is in favor of the Kardashians, but you know, they don't, in my opinion, they've never been in favor of the small person. So yeah, give yourself a ba balanced view. I wish I could keep up with um, the news, but it's constantly being updated. Um, Tisa Tells is the person that I keep on bringing up because she's constantly updating and her information is so good. Um, really good. I say give it a shot. So anyways, yeah, that's the major news there. Um, thank God for Kanye West for actually getting out of that situation. I know that he felt like he wanted to save his family. And that was a um, that was a noble thing for him to want to do, considering that was that is what he had been dealing with. Like, if this is the way that the Kardashians have built their entire career is stepping on small people, when it's magnified like this, and I understand that we have seen them step on small people, so I should not be surprised by that. But when people go to court things are exposed a little bit more. That's why I say they should not have taken this to court. They should have settled out of court. I hear that they did try to do that. Evidently, whatever it was, it wasn't good enough for Black China and understandably, they did her wrong. They did her wrong and the media is speaking like, oh, that little Black girl with the bad attitude that we don't like, that shakes her butt on Instagram she just wants to get money out of them and she doesn't deserve it. Okay, that's your opinion. That is your opinion, but at the end of the day, we are not the one that went through what she went through. And apparently, they went as far as to make it seem like she was filming a new show, had a camera crew following, following her and Rob around, and all that time they had no intentions on even airing the show. So they went very far to mask up what they were doing. So that goes to tell you that they know that they were doing something wrong and they just couldn't do it the way that they wanted to. They just couldn't say, okay, this is over, go home, and we never want to see you again. They could not do that. They had to do it the sneaky way and they went very far to do it and they continue to go far. They continue to keep going down this rabbit hole. It is unbelievable. But yet you go and you look at the general media and they're still parading. You go and you look at Kim Kardashian's Instagram and she's posting pictures of her and Pete Davidson. Her and Skeet Davidson. Like we believe that that relationship is real. Kim, nobody believes that that relationship is real but you. And the people that believe that facade. But whatever. You know, that's just my opinion. Just my opinion. Anyways, um, so yeah. I have been commenting a lot under these videos because I do have time for that. It's my way of keeping up with what is going on in the blog world so that when I do get on my page, and post content like I'm supposed to, I can be somewhat up to date. Plus I gotta practice putting content up because YouTube has changed so much. So I can't just keep putting up videos where I'm not actually speaking and I'm just trying to, you know, play some videos for you guys. That's not really working for um, presence. It's not really working for content that I can you know, anyways, it's just not working like that. So I'm gonna have to do more videos like this and just post them to the page so that you can actually see me, hear my opinion. My opinion is out there. And I do know that there are some people who do follow me on a YouTube and they do know the videos I watch, they know the comments that I make. 
and yeah. So your girl's gonna definitely start trying to appear on camera with an opinion. But right now I'm gonna continue to work out as I am really in the gym right now, regardless of this green screen that you see behind me. I am your girl Callie T. Ware. Peace, y'all.